Hello, hello, and welcome back. Just something quick that I want to show you today. Now, like myself, most of you watching this channel fiddle around with electronics, and we've all used these little screw chop block connectors. They can be a little bit fiddly, though. So, recently, I spotted these little quick-release connectors, and I thought I'd get some in to give them a go. Now, they come in two- or three-way configurations, and seem to be very popular with lead lighting runs where you can join strips together. Right, I got mine from Banggood. Um, cost less than £2 delivered for the UK for a pack of 20. But of course, like everything else, they are available even cheaper on eBay. And I will leave links in the description. Right, here's the money shot. So they're rated at up to 250 volts at 10 amps current draw. And the wire size that you can insert is 0.5 to 3.5 mil. So in this kind of bench testing situation, this is where these quick release connectors come into their own. Yeah, the screw type are fine, but how many times have you undone the screw too far, it then falls on the floor, you spend more time looking for the screw. But with these, it's simplicity itself. You just push down the plunger, push in the wire, and away you go. Bob's your uncle, it's, it's working straight away. And uh, it's easy to swap things out. You just push the plunger down, pull out the wire, Put in, your, put in another wire and away you go. And because it takes 3.5 millimeter of wire, well, there's no reason why you can't put in two or possibly three at the same time. Now, these are CE approved and uh, it, they do say they can be used as a permanent means of fixture. And it does seem that in the uh, LED lighting industry, this is where these are mainly used. Yeah, I'm not quite so sure about that, that there is a center hole in the connection block itself. So I would say that you would need to screw these down on a board. Um, but for me, you know, I'm a bit old fashioned. I'd prefer maybe a solder connection with heat shrink, something like that. But as I say, as a quick way of testing things on a bench, I think there are absolutely fine so there you go just thought i'd like to show this to you i will leave a link in the description if you're interested in buying cheapest chips anyway but as for now as always cheers thanks for watching and i'll catch you all on the next one